Well, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the Hyatt Regency here in Birmingham. As you all know, and you can tell by the size of the press turnout, it's a big fight night at Arena Birmingham. 13 scheduled fights, a massive card. It'll be a great night of boxing. Of course, it's broadcast on Sky Sports. And as a special treat to the fans in America, it'll be broadcast and streamed live by DAZN. So here to tell you more about it, here to tell you everything about it, is Eddie Hearn for Matchroom Boxing. Thank you and welcome everybody and, and welcome to Michael Buffer as well. It's always a pleasure to have you in town. And welcome to David Diamante as well, new member of the Matchroom Boxing team. Pleasure to have you on board for all our shows in the UK and in the US as well. Well, it's fantastic to see Amir Khan back again after that blistering performance at the Echo Arena against Phil LaGreco. We're still catching our breath from that, but this time I think a much more serious challenge and a challenge that he's prepared for intensely with his new trainer, Joe Goosen. Before we talk about that fight, the other fights on the card, I'm going to pass over to Head of Boxing for Sky Sports, Adam Smith. Yeah, it's brilliant to be back, isn't it? A fantastic run uh, through the autumn and winter. Uh, boxing's so hot at the moment, and uh, what better place to start than here in Birmingham. Uh, it's great to be back. It's fantastic to have uh, Amir Khan topping the bill, and we didn't get to see much of him uh, in Liverpool. It was so quick against Phil Le Greco, and I'm sure we'll have more from Samuel Vargas, who I know comes full of confidence and with a big team. Great to see Chris Johnson back uh, in Britain. It's been a few years, Chris. Nice to have you here uh, again. He was a really, really good fighter. So, uh, listen, a wonderful card. Uh, so many fights on the bill. We're going to be Facebook Live from 6 o'clock on uh, Saturday night, from 7 o'clock on uh, Action, and then the main event uh, straight after the England game, uh, just after 10 o'clock on Saturday night. So it's a great showcase for all the talent uh, on this bill. I think it's a great British uh, title fight on there as well. Really looking forward to seeing that between you boys, uh, Jason and Tommy. Uh, and JD Ringside as well is back Friday night too. So plenty to look forward to uh, on social, digital, Sky Sports News and everywhere as we get this season back up and started. I can't wait. Thank you, Adam. And to Sky, of course, for their continued support. So many new build-up programs and of course some massive nights ahead uh, in 2018 and onwards and of course thank you to our exclusive US partners The Zone who officially launch on September the 22nd for Joshua Povetkin and will be streaming this fight across their digital platforms on Saturday night. I'm going to start with the, the gentleman beneath us and some big fights on Saturday night. I'm going to start with you Sam. Um, great to see you back. Obviously a, a chance that fell through on July 28th to fight Brandon Cook. I know you were gutted about that. I won't talk too much about the stuff that's going on behind the scenes and fights that are in the pipeline, which are massive for you, but a very, very important night for you on Saturday, and you must take care of business. Yeah, I'd like to say, um, the cup fight falling through was a, a massive disappointment. You know, it was hard to um, get back into the gym so soon after it, but, uh, you know, this fight, this fight was always planned. It was meant to be a big <coughs> fight. You know, it is what it is. But like you say, uh, but for, you know things in the um, pipeline that you know could you know could change my career, um, Sam, we can't my life you. in general. Um, but you know, so we'll, we'll we'll push on from this. You know, we'll get a good win um, and see what see what's next. Thanks, Sam. Um, we're going to try and turn up those mics on the, the front table as well. I oh know, don't worry. That was, that was a very long speech for you, Sam. <laughs> to be honest with you, I was quite impressed. I can't believe no one heard it. <laughs> they did do online. Don't worry. Uh, at 6 o'clock, we go live on Facebook with a, a brilliant <laughs> fight, domestic fight. Um, Ryan Kelly and Kelsey Ball down here. I think these two are going to put on a great show. Firstly, Ryan, um, we saw you in action at Arena on Sky Sports before. A disappointing night for you. This time, a big opportunity and a must-win fight in your career. Yeah, uh, I think it's time to um, prove that last time, mate, wasn't, you know, it wasn't a, wasn't a good night for me. Uh, I've been training really hard since that loss, so uh, it's just time to put things uh, right. I've sold a, a load of tickets, there's a, lo a lot of people coming down to uh, support me on the night, so I'm looking, uh, I'm looking to, uh, you know, box, box out my skin. But, uh, you know, I've got a game opponent in front of me in Kelsey Ball, and uh, I'm looking forward to doing a job, so thanks everyone for coming as, as always, so um, see you all Saturday. Kelsey, not the uh, big event experience that Ryan had last time, but a massive opportunity for you and one I know you can't wait to take on Saturday night. 
Yeah, definitely. Um, <clears throat> I just like to say thanks as again, just uh, getting me on the bill. Um, Ryan's been here before, like you say, but he didn't get the win, um, and I don't believe he's going to get the win this time. We've sparred numerous rounds, and uh, we know each other really well. But it's one of them. I'm coming to win. Like you said, I'm game as anything. I've had a good camp, so um, yeah, I just can't wait to get in there and do the business. Really, Ryan's had his shot before, and it didn't go to plan. So. If that happens again for him, he's got nowhere really to go. So. Won't be happening again. But if it does, he's got nowhere to go. Whereas I'm just going up, so can't wait to get it on. Kez Ashfak, obviously a member of that Rio Olympic team, and what a team come out of that final uh, GB setup from the podium squad through Rio, especially. Obviously Kez Ashfak, Anthony Fowler. Um, you've seen the rise of Josh Kelly, Joshua Boatsy, Lawrence Akoli fighting Matty Askin at Wembley in a couple of weeks as well. Joe Caldina picked up the Commonwealth title and Kez turned pro a little bit later than those guys but now on the run and uh, looking forward to getting back into action and hopefully pushing on to titles in the near future, Kez. Yeah, without a doubt. i um, been working hard in the gym. Um, it's my third fight. I'm amazed. I'm, amazed. I'm, I'm here right now for my third fight. and it's, it's my second Amir Khan undercard which is obviously a great experience but um, yeah I've been working hard um, been staying in the gym learning the trade and I wouldn't say <coughs> my last two fights had that exact pro style yet but we've been working hard on it and I'm looking forward to showing everyone on Saturday night that that little pro style is coming and uh, I'm just getting better and better as, as time goes on. Thanks Kez. Part of a, a big brummy contingent on the card Gamal your fight. Gamal um, obviously the defeat against Gavin McDonnell, you're probably bored of talking about that now. A uh, good win out last time and now another step up for you and talking to your team yesterday, I want to get this win and then challenge for that British title next up. Yeah, um, first, first thing first is Saturday night, um, get that out of the way and then we can look at ne my next fight. But I'm, like I said, I'm looking forward to get out Saturday and um, put, a good, put a good job on for these brummies. I was watching you on the, the pads and some clips of the public workout and looking fantastic with Max McCracken. How much do you think that defeat could actually be the defining moment of your career moving forward? You look like a different fighter even, even in this camp. Yeah, um, that's it's made me more hungrier. Um, I'm, I'm, I messed up and I ain't going to mess up again. Um, I'm looking forward to get back out Saturday and showing everybody what I'm capable of. I know I'm a lot better than what I've shown in my, la in my, my previous fights. but. Um, I'm ready to go and um, show everybody what I'm about. The 154 pound domestic division is on fire at the moment. Of course, upstairs you've got Kel Brook and Liam Williams and Liam Smith and domestically challenging for British titles. You have, I think, one of the domestic fights of 2018 potentially between Ted Cheeseman and Asina Byfield for the British title. And loads of people clipping at their heels. Of course, you've got Sam Heggington who's done and dusted at domestic level and European level, but looking at Eggington and looking at even Brooke and those guys are the young puppies coming through, Scott Fitzgerald, Anthony Fowler and Scott, the first big test of your career on Saturday night, Craig Morris bringing a big support with him as you always do as well, but really on the verge now of these big fights domestically. Yeah, um, I've had 10 now and uh, getting to the big, you know, the big fights now, yeah, this is a step up for me on Saturday, which, you know, uh, I'll be concentrating on first of all, making sure I do a good job and get the win there. And then, yeah, we can look at uh, the big fights there in the pipeline. Everybody's talking about potentially you against Fowler, two Commonwealth Games gold medalists, and also taking on the winner of Cheeseman against Byfield. Firstly, how important is it not to overlook Saturday night? And secondly, I want to just get your opinion about Cheeseman against Byfield for the British title on October 27th. Yeah, um, like I said, just then, it's, you know, mainly fingers concentrating on uh, getting the job done on Saturday against a, a game fighter who's coming to win. And then, um, yeah, the fights, you know, like you just mentioned, that they're for me they can be made. And, uh, uh, yeah, that maybe me and Fowler fight next or very soon, then the winner of that can fight the winner of the Cheeseman Byfield, possibly. But, you know, um, it's a great fight, like you said. I look forward to seeing how that one goes. And I'll, you know, I'll be looking to fight the winner, if possible. Thank you, Scott. Look forward to seeing you in action. I think, talk about one of the most exciting fighters in British boxing, maybe one of the most exciting fighters in world boxing at the moment, and 
he's a very shy man, so he probably won't like me saying it, but Lewis Ritson down here in front, I mean, the rise of this man to win the British title outright, what, within three or four rounds of three defences, looking absolutely brutal, winning it against Highland in Newcastle, beating Scotty Cardle, beating Joe Murray, um, previously after winning the Lonsdale, the British title, against Robbie Barrett. We went to Newcastle in June, and this young man took the roof off. We had about 6,000 in there. We go back on October the 13th, where he changes for the European title. We expect a 9,000 sellout at the Newcastle Arena. Lewis, one of the plans for us, after only doing, what, one round, two rounds, and one round in your previous three fights, is to try and get some rounds. Are we going to see some rounds on Saturday night? Uh, hopefully. Uh, we'll, we'll, have to, we'll have to wait and see. We've been training hard in the gym, and uh, if the rounds come, the rounds come, but if they don't, they don't. Obviously, a, a massive opportunity for you on October the 13th to become European champion, but looking to get through here, do the business unscathed, and then start your full camp for October 13th. Yeah, we've just been training as hard for this as what we'll have, what we will be for the Patera fight. So, you know, we're, we're ready and we'll be ready October the 13th as well. Thanks, Lewis. Um, one fight that I watched this week, which was one of the best fights I've seen, certainly in 2018, was the British middleweight championship between Jason Wellborn and Tommy Langford. They rematch on Saturday night in our chief support in Birmingham. They both, both sold a huge amount of tickets. As I said, this first fight was an absolute peach. I'm hoping you give us the same fight again. Maybe you don't want that same fight again, both of you. But you know, firstly, Tommy Langford, the challenger, um, you know, looked like he was the shoe in to beat Jason Wellborn last time around. Obviously, he'd been in some big fights, fought for the interim WBO title. And, and just again, take my hat off to Jason Wellborn, who you know, potentially his career looked like it might be over with some defeats. Had a brilliant fight with Matthew Macklin in the arena. Um, and then a great fight against Marcus Morrison to beat him, and then went on a great run, and now stands as British champion. And Tommy, you're looking to, to get your belt back and become British champion again on Saturday night? Yeah, without a doubt. Um, it's, first of all, it's brilliant to have such a big event back in Birmingham, boxing back in Birmingham. It's a great uh, boxing city, so it's brilliant to have that, and it's a chance for me to show what I've got on the, you know, huge exposure, both TV and like you said, it's, it's going to be absolutely rammed out in the arena, so I'm really looking forward to it, and um, I made a lot of mistakes last time round, been very open about that, um, both on fight night, but that was because of <coughs> things done previously and um, I can, you know, I've held my hands up, I completely overlooked, well, Jason and um, I haven't done that this time I've given the respect and the training camp that is due and you know I'm looking forward to putting in a very good performance on Saturday. What do you do against Jason Wellborn? I mean he's, he's such a handful he fights you know he always comes to fight he terrorizes you and I know that he's going to be trying to do exactly the same thing on Saturday night do you hold your ground do you stand and fight do you do you box and move do you do a bit of both without giving too much away but you know what type of fight Jason is going to bring on Saturday night? Yeah well you don't do what I did last time and let him hit you more than you hit him. Like, you know, that's <laughs> a bit stupid. I, you know, I, I just completely threw tactics out the window, really, and I walked into him and, and you know, defensively very poor um, and uh, didn't do what I'm good at. And I'm good at being a good stand-up boxer and using my feet, and I didn't do any of that. And, you know, so obviously things are going to be different on Saturday. I'm going to follow the tactic and the game plan to the letter, like it has what I've done in previous occasions, and I'll be coming out the champion again. Jason, I bet you can't wait for this one again. I mean, you know, winning the British title was fantastic for you. Your confidence must be sky high, ready to put on, as you always do, another great fight for the fans on Saturday. Yeah, confidence at the end of the day, you, I've won the British. I know whoever it was, Tommy Langford again, people among us, so I know I've had to train even harder. We haven't, at the end, of, if I do what I've done last time, I'll win. But um, he's, he's got an excuse, yeah, he done this, he's looked past me, that's his half. So he's gone back to the drawing board, our side haven't, we've just got to turn up, get that win and do what I normally do. And on a brilliant bill like Matt, what you've put on Khan in Birmingham, I'm just going to, it's, it's going to bring even better out of me. And this Tommy Lankford, what we hope to come in Saturday, what needs to come in Saturday, um, he's going to bring the best out of me. So I'm just looking forward to it now. We know, we know technically you have ability, but like I said, you're always in these great fights. Is it, is it, the, same, is it the same Jason Wellborn on Saturday night that's just yeah. going to come and put the pressure on from the first bell? Well, that's what I've got to do. That's my style. That's how I've um, put the good shows on when I've been on with yourself. So I've just got to do what I've got to do and do that Saturday. And as long as I do that, 
the 12 rounds is I'm ready to go the 12 rounds uh, solid pace hopefully better than last time so I put my body through well so um, I'm just looking um, to re retain my British title and uh, see what we've got to go on but it's my time now he's had his time with his promoters and uh, before he, he ain't been in the position where I've been in fights before the camps he probably went on my fights with um, old Liam Smith four weeks notice two weeks notice he said the Jason Wellborn, he's felt the Jason Wellborn in there on the May the 5th at Warsaw Town Hall. So on this show, Tommy Langford, that's the end you'll be seeing the Tommy Langford, I'm telling you straight. Okay, all right, all right. We look forward to that one. I can't wait to see this fight again, again, the rematch of the British middleweight title and uh, hopefully a repeat of one of the 2018 fights of the year. Now to the main event, Amir Khan against Samuel Vargas. Um, I see a very, very, very competitive team of people on my left. Um, of course, in Chris Johnson, but in Lee Baxter as well, in Samuel Vargas, who's had a 10-week plus camp for this fight. I'm going to pass over to Lee. Firstly, welcome back, my friend, and uh, big fight for you guys. I see a little glint in your eye that you really fancy this one. Yeah, you know what? The work's done. Um, I think everyone... You know what? <coughs> Lead up to this fight, all we've been talking about is... Oh, Phil Greco. We won't be Phil Greco. I'm going to thank Phil Greco on Sunday because I think everyone thinks from <laughs> Toronto we're all the same. <laughs> um, the work's been put in. Um, ultimately, it comes down to Saturday. I know what we've done. Um, they know what they think they've done. Um, they don't know us. They don't know us. Uh, we got a few tricks up our sleeve. I think there's a, a tall man in the back back there. I think his name's Greg. He's been looking out for our nutrition. So. Um, we, we've done everything we can. We've, we've crossed our T's, we've dotted our I's, and uh, come Sunday morning, we'll, we'll all be happy. Obviously, representing fighters, you know what is on the horizon for a victory for Samuel Vargas on Saturday night. Could completely change his career and pave the way for some massive fights. Yeah, I think, listen, we're all a team. Uh, we're, a, we're a young team that's growing, and Sam's holding the torch right now. It's good for Sam, but it's good for all of us. It's good for Toronto, it's good for Canada, it's good for all my stable guys. Um, everyone knows the pressure, and, and there wouldn't be another guy that I would put in front of this pressure to own it. Um, the work's done. It just We'll see what happens on Saturday. Thanks, Lee. Before we go to the trainers, show a quick word with you. Um, last time was incredible at Liverpool. I mean... Joe was trying to get him to calm down and Amir was trying to was supposed to wait for his next song and just ran in the ring and a couple of seconds later it was all over. But a great energy, but this time feels a lot more serious from, from everybody and, and a solid test ahead on Saturday night. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think um, I've been away on Hajj this year, unfortunately. I wasn't in the camp with Amir, but we would keep in touch with Joe regularly and with Amir. And they were saying it was the best camp they've ever had. You know, it's been great. Sparring's been brilliant. Everything's been great. Yes, Phil, you know, I mean, listen, a, a, a lot of people underestimate Phil Greco because he was unfortunately, Amir caught him, well, he was 14 for Amir, he caught him cold. I mean, that could have gone 12 rounds that fight. You know, he caught him cold, didn't let him recover, and Amir took him out. I mean, this fight, we're not taking him lightly at all. No, it's Joe, no, it's Amir. He's a tough fight ahead of us. He's trained well, prepared well, and he's ready for it. And hopefully, uh, on uh, Sunday morning, he'll be victorious. Thank you, Shaw. Chris, welcome. Um, a great occasion on Saturday. You're going to love it in there. The atmosphere is going to be absolutely red hot. Tell us a little bit about the camp and what you're expecting in the mm -hmm. fight on Saturday night. Well, uh, definitely uh, not uh, expecting the, the Phil Greco fight. Um, I'm very familiar with Phil Greco as well. And I got to tell you something. I hate to blow um, the confidence of Amir Khan, but two months before the kid had a concussion, this man beside me to my right is a beast, works hard, wants it, needs it. And I trained Sammy when, up until Sammy was, 13 and 0, and we parted ways. And now that we're back together, it's like we never left. So you're not going to see the same Sammy Vargas. You're going to see an animal in front of you. I nickname him the bull because that's what he is. So I expect a knockout. You believe that Samuel Vargas wins his fight inside the distance? That's the only way to win here. Okay. Look forward to that. Joe? 
Yeah. Welcome. I'm, I'm a little bit shocked that you haven't got the denim on, but you kind of have. What do you mean I haven't? Well, yeah, I know, but I see it now. <laughs> I know, I know. It's a light yeah, denim. It's yeah. a sky blue denim. You know, it's not, that's it's not the hard right. but We're going to change that one. Exactly. But this time, a, a proper camp with Amir Khan. I've been fascinated watching <coughs> the various digital yeah. clips coming back from the camp. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that camp, and you look like you have a very fresh fighter on your hands. Yeah, I, you know, look, uh, it was probably, you know, we had a great camp last time. It was a short camp. <laughs> We only had five weeks. We had ten weeks for this camp. We brought in top sparring. Um, as you probably know, if you were watching the clips, we had quite a bit of sparring. We, look, uh, you know, I've heard it all before. You know, I've heard every opponent you can name, you know, when I, with that we've gone up against, and everyone's got a good pitch. And, and I, I'll tell you, I like their pitch. I expected their pitch. And I even said to Amir, I said, they'd be quite foolish if they didn't prepare you know, I expect them to prepare as diligently as they have. So, you know, this is nothing new. I mean, when you're fighting in fights like this, if you don't, you know, go all the way with it, you're going to be in big trouble. So now knowing that, I prepared like this is the toughest fight we're ever going to imagine. And uh, we worked at it like it was the toughest fight we ever imagined. We put in all the work we, that you could imagine that you'd, you'd want to for this fight. So. Um, we're prepared. Uh, again, I've, I've heard it all before, but, you know, ultimately, you're going to have to get in the ring with Amir Khan. And we're talking about an exceptional career, exceptional wins over exceptional fighters. And uh, he's uh, in an exceptional spot right now. So good luck to the boys over there. But I've got the real, I've got the real athlete in the ring Saturday night. And, of course, we came here to do one thing, and that's the win. I know the win is important, obviously. Noise from their team, they think they win inside the distance. Do you, do you think Amir Khan stops Samuel Vargas on Saturday night? You know, you don't, you don't know. I mean, I mean uh, you never know how things are going to turn out. Uh, I expect a win, whether it's short or long. Um, you know, it no matter to me, because we prepared for the toughest, bloodiest, most grueling 12 rounds, if that were to come about. We're prepared for that. I got, I got a question on that. How do you prepare for a fight like this when you've been knocked out your last, the, the fight before this, uh, a career-ending uh, fight? How do you prepare a fighter for war after he's been damaged? The brain is not the same. So how do you prepare All right, a fighter okay. for You made your war? point, Chris. You made your point. Let me answer it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think you guys were stopped by Errol, uh, by Errol Spence and Danny Garcia. We stopped. stopped so, okay, hold on. We stopped. Hold on. I mean, let me answer the question. All right. You know, a lot of people get knocked out in this sport. A lot of people come back to win. All right. He's with me now. All right. That's going to make a difference. Just like you said, it's going to make a difference. Your fighter being back with you. So let's just, you know, if, if, I, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, Chris, real quick. Beginning, Chris, that was Chris, the beginning real of his quick. career. Chris, I I'm almost finished. Hold on one oh, sec. You can say what you want afterwards. I don't want to get into a running argument because it's all going to be a moot point Saturday night anyway. They're both going to get in the ring and they're going to do the talking for us and for themselves. So, uh, I, you know, I'm going to end it there on a good note. You go <laughs> ahead, think what you want to think, and then we'll see you Saturday night what happens, okay? The other day, there you go. the other day you asked me who I was. Now you know who I am. No, no, no. I recognize you. That's why I went over there and said hi to you, Chris. And you will see who Sammy is. All right. Okay. okay. All right. I've heard it all before, Chris. Thank you, brother. I know. All right. I know you've heard it all Take before. Take care. I'll we'll see you Saturday night. 1935. You're, you've been in the game. You're, you're, that's right. We'll, we'll, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll see what happens Saturday night. All okay. Right. Thank you, brother. All right. Sammy, you got you got a tough act to follow. I, I, I hope you two sort the same beef as the trainers. I mean, I was I was, I was enjoying the show. Um, you know, I had a great camp. I want to thank my team, obviously, my promoter Lee Baxter, Chris Johnson, um, Greg back there. You know, I had a um, I had a tremendous training camp. Did a lot of rounds. Um, I have brought in a sparring from Puerto Rico, from the states, uh, lo local sparring in Toronto. And it was great, man. I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be here. You know, thank God. This is this all happens for a reason. There's no, no there's no doubt in my mind that I'll be victorious Saturday night. I don't care how I do it. I don't care if, if it's knockout or by distance, or if or if I break his ribs. I don't care how it is. I know in my heart. I think it. I dream it. I pray about it, and I'll win.
obviously you share the same confidence as, as your team, but you, know, you feel there's a weakness in Amir Khan and it's your chance to exploit it on Saturday night. I think it's an old man. I think it's over the hill. Um, I think it's been damaged a lot, and and, and I know, I know in my heart that when he when, when he goes to, to sleep, he 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 knows that if someone touches, if I touch him, he's gonna get hurt. If I clip him with something, he will get hurt. So that's all it is. Amir, I know you've been in the game a long time. You heard this before. You don't look like an old man. You look ten years younger than your last fight. You not, you've been up to any of that Botox stuff in oh. LA or anything like that. You look brand new, but I know you've had a very very tough camp here. Eh? It's been a tough tough training camp. Um, spent uh, around about ten weeks in. Um, in Los Angeles. Uh, it's the first time me and Joe spent the full camp together. Uh, the last fight was a little bit short because we had to make that ch uh, short tr training camp with uh, Joe because obviously with the change of trainers. But um, look, we're going to be ready for this fight and I'm, I'm glad um, the, the team on my left is talking and that they are confident because, of, you know, they're making the fight more exciting. Um, I'm glad I trained very hard for this fight as I do in all my fights. Um, sparred with amazing tough tough fighters probably fighters who are probably better than my opponent you know no bit no disrespect but um when i when i come in the ring i'm gonna i'm gonna give the crowd i'm gonna give birmingham a great fight and i'm gonna do what i do best um we're, we're never going to a fight looking for a knockout we're never going to a fight you know throwing big bombs but if it happens it happens if i if i if i see an opening i'm gonna take it and i've been watching videos of vargas i've seen his previous videos um, you know, I've seen a few things in there, but obviously everyone's different in every fight. Um, but I know I've got everything that it takes to win this fight. Um, I've been in this position many times. I've been in bigger positions than this many times. For many oppositions out there in the world, different styles. So I am a veteran in the sport, but um, just can't wait to get in the ring now and we a couple of days away, get the rain away tomorrow, and hopefully then we go back to business. Uh, I know it was short last time against Le Greco. Um, obviously, I never go in the fight thinking it was going to end that quick. But I'm not seeing Vargas as another Le Greco. Not once I've said that. They might be from the same country, but that doesn't mean anything, you know. The best fighter from, from Canada. I've trained like he's a world title fight because I know where this fight can take me. And, um, you know, we're going to be more than ready. So I hope uh, you guys enjoy the fight on Saturday. Thank you, Birmingham, for turning out. And... Hope to see you on Saturday with a great performance. Thank you. I mean, just finally, obviously, uh, sorry, man, obviously, uh, finally, you know, people they think they see a weakness in you. You've, you've been there before. If Sammy Vargas comes for the knockout on Saturday night, we should get one very, very exciting fight. Oh, definitely. You know, I mean, I, I wish he does come for looking for the knockout because that's what makes an exciting fight. Um, they know that you know I've got probably the biggest balls in the 147 pound division. I mean, I like, f I like being in a tear with myself. Uh, I'm never, I'm, I never step back and say, look, I'll, I'll, if it's a fight, it's a fight, and I'll get involved in it and join in the, into the fight. Um, you know, in the, in the, in the welterweight division, I am unbeaten. Going back to 147 is an exciting division for me. You know, it's where I, wanna, where I feel at, at my best. I feel at the strongest. Going up and down, obviously it wasn't for me, but uh, well away, I've got a hundred percent record, and I'm going to keep it hundred percent. So, um, you know, whatever he brings to the table, uh, Eddie, you know, we can have answers for. Thank you, Amir. We look forward to a great main event: Amir Khan against Samuel Vargas. Of course, chief support that rematch of the fight of the year between Jason Wellborn and Tommy Langford. Some huge other fights on the bill: Kelsey Ball um, against Ryan Scott Fitzgerald, Kez Ashfak, Lewis Ritson, Gamalia Fire, Sam Eggington. We've got thirteen fights on Saturday night. The doors open. Osman as well. I haven't forgotten you, don't worry. <laughs> and the doors open at four o'clock on Saturday night and we're going to be running right through till midnight. Thanks for turning up today. The weigh-in tomorrow will take place at the arena. Be there. It's a 2 p.m. start for that weigh-in. We look forward to a great fight and a great night of boxing on Saturday night live on Sky Sports and DAZN. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much.